That's the biggest adrenaline rush I've ever had in my life. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week we're going to Florida with Uncle Hoppy and well, Osceola, Osceola Outfitters. Outfitters. And the crazy thing is, is I don't know where these gators are getting their size. We are getting larger and larger gators down there. And this time, Dr. Fun. Chris and Don are with us. And, and it's fun with Don well, oh. and Dr. Chris. But, right. but the thing is, is, is with Dr. Chris there, Boy, he was like... He's checking out Ralph's knee, making sure everything's man, going good, you know? at me all the time. Well, if you would just behave yourself, he wouldn't have to yell at you. But Don was funny because Don loves his predator hunting. Oh, yeah. He ain't never predator hunted like this. No. And I'm telling you, he is hooked. And on an airboat on top of it. But that all being said, this week's lucky logo? A mirror step. That's Ultimate right. Ultimate stands and ground blinds, no matter what. <laughs> so at the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do if you see the Ameristep step logo somewhere. Tell you what to do, huh? Yeah, that's <laughs> sure right. Like okay, on our way down to Florida this time, we went through Pennsylvania. With Tab. And with Tab, and we stopped at the Celebrate the Hunt Ministry. Which, which does a really great, great evening. Oh yep. my gosh. We had a it lot was a blessing, you know, to, to be there and, and to witness everything and just yes. thank you for, for allowing us to be there. Absolutely. So let's get going on the road again. And this time, I made it there safe. <laughs> Believe it or not. You know, we were invited to, to Five Forks, celebrate the hunt ministry, and it was such an honor that Nikki and I were able to get up in front of a lot of people and, well, give our testimony. We all have common threads. I mean, we're all together on all this. And yet, when you can get in a group and everybody has the same common denominators, it, it's just awesome. And what a way to start the trip. We're here at Five Forks Church to celebrate the hunt ministry. Absolutely. And we are about to ready to go do a very, very special seminar. With the tab. It's cool. It's cool. We're about to, to, to speak to everybody. And I mean, there, there's 500 people here. And all of a sudden, Tab and them hit the play button. And on the screens is this blooper reel of Vicky and I that we had no clue that they put together. To actually convey what means so much to us was just, just it was just so cool. Please never be ashamed of being a hunter. Never be ashamed because the reality of it is, is what we do and what we put forth, God told us to. God told us to be stewards of his land and of his animals. All we're doing is obeying, aren't we? The next morning we headed up, we packed up and headed out early to Hoppy's. We got Dr. Chris meeting us down. We got Don Lind and his family. I mean, we got, it, it's a, it is a full camp. My friend and patient, Ralph, uh, is just difficult to deal with. I want to ask you one thing. Have you put any weight on your leg? Yes. And what, how was but, that? But I just started, because it's, yeah. it's six weeks. Yeah, how much? Mm -hmm. Little. <laughs> Have you fallen down? <laughs> no, I'm just asking. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> now, one good thing about Ralph is that he's basically my job security because as long as he keeps not doing what I want to do, then I'll keep getting to operate on him. So I've got kids that I've got to send through school, so Ralph will be good for something. But Ralph, I think where you brace in risky situations, was, which means when you're awake, okay? So Hoppy told me that he had a, an idea that there was a big gator in a really unlikely spot, a small water hole that he knew of, Today, my cousin called me, they were working cattle, and he told me this, and I knew where the little pond he was talking about. They were moving cattle here, and he says, Hoppy, I don't know how big this gator is, but he said he is a trophy gator, meaning he's 9, 10, 11 foot. 
and you know coming from somebody that i know my cousins especially they know what a big gator is so he just got a glimpse of him because he rode his horse up and down it went there's very little water here so this gator needs to be killed because he's liable to catch one of our calves or cows right here so we uh, packed our stuff got my bow and we we headed that way and we figured out the wind and we made our way up to the edge and Hoppy went up to the edge of the small water hole, really a very small, and he uh, spotted the gator. So we had to maneuver around uh, about 90 degrees around the pond and, and when we were able to look over the bushes, he was perfect. He's pacing away from us. He's a whopper. That's a big boy right there. We were able to get an arrow through both lungs, and that's when the show started. very little water here so this gator needs to be killed because he's liable to catch one of our calves or cows right here. So we had to maneuver around uh, about 90 degrees around the pond and and when we were able to look over the bushes he was perfect. He's pacing away from us. He's a whopper. And so I came to full draw below the bush and rose up and made the shot. And it was as if the alligator had no idea it had been hit. Get another alligator. He's going to sink us right over there next to the shore. So we rotated back around the other edge of the pond. We decided to go and throw some hooks over him and get him up to the surface. Once they did that, he presented a great broadside shot. I maneuvered around and we, we were able to get an arrow through both lungs. Oh, ready? Go. Hang on. Right behind his front leg, go ahead. Yep. Oh, that's a good one. Hey! And that's when the show started. I'll roll right up on the bank. Oh my gosh, that's a big Gracious. you some of that, Liz. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's the biggest adrenaline rush I've ever had in my life. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that thing. Look at where, look where all the cows have been up here drinking. It's a wonder he hasn't got one in there with him. He may. Uh, Hoppy told me he was probably 80 years old. He ended up taping out at 11 feet, 10 inches. He's just a massive creature. Hey, you know, the light just coming down here, shooting alligator real fast. Yeah, hey, let's go, all, let's go alligator hunting, huh? <laughs> so after I shot it, who, who shows up but Ralph, who of course is not supposed to be out there. And the fact that he's even out there is wrong, but he's doing everything wrong too. He's using his crutch wrong if he's using it. And then he gives me that Ralph look like, what? And that's Ralph. <laughs> hey, let's buddy. see, I'll see y'all in the morning. <laughs> Dinosaur in the afternoon. What's for supper? <laughs> <laughs> this is a monster right here. That is 
Look at the girth on that. Hoppy's place down here, Osceola Outfitters, is just a, a beautiful oasis in the middle of Central Florida. They have a great family environment here, great for kids, great for wives. You never know what's going to happen next. It's very relaxed. It's just uh, the ultimate getaway. Well, after we finally loaded Dr. Chris's swamp lizard, that thing was a dinosaur, we headed back to camp and, well, we had the privilege, the honor, and I'm not sure if either one of those fit, uh, to meet some of Hoppy's distant relatives. Is this Hoppy all way out there? Come on in. Have I got the right place here? Who, who are you looking for? Uh, <laughs> what the hell is We targeted Dan Dan the cameraman. And his cousin, we told him, please, really, well, hit on him. Let's just have some fun with this. I'm gonna stay and eat, aren't you? Well, is she on the menu? We really. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Dan will be back. I'm Ralph's doctor, Dr. Chris. Well, hello, Dr. Chris. Nice to I'm, see you. You take good care of Ralph. It's hard. He's pretty good. He's got it rough with that he, woman, he's you know. He's so hard hit it. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> You want my good side, honey? Here. <laughs> well, I just, I better not do that now. Right. I don't want you to think I'm that kind of woman. See y'all later. Bye. 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 Ten minutes down the channel, we spotted a good gator. Let's join Don Lind from South Peace and McMillan River up in the Yukon as he's going down the canal in the airboat and, well, check out this stupid hat. Poppy decided to take the airboat out late morning just as a, a scouting trip to a possible evening hunt. I said, let's run down a canal here and see if, you get, if we can spot an alligator, a big alligator somewhere. And, um, you know, if we don't, we don't. If we do, we'll see if we can get a shot. And wouldn't you know it, 10 minutes down the channel, we spotted a good gator. We cranked up and moved on him, and of course he went down, and we tried to follow his bubble trail, and, and you know, his, his bubble trail would end, but we would wait there to see if he would surface again. Just wait here a few minutes and see if something happens. We uh, spent half an hour or more circling back and forth. The gator'd go one way, we'd follow him, idle up behind him. He'd dive down and double back on us. So what he was doing was going down, turning around, going the opposite direction. Well, about the, about doing this after about the third time, uh, we kind of figured out what he was doing, and this this. One particular uh, chance we had at him, we saw his bubble trail where he was dragging himself across the bottom and the bubble trail ended. Yeah. Oh, I fell in. There he goes. Oh, there he is. There he goes. Oh, I see a foot. <laughs> Looks like a good one, Hoppy. Oh boy. That's a good one. Um, arrow? Yeah, let's get an arrow. <clears throat> Once we realized it was a gator that we wanted, we got Don hooked up with a, uh, a fishing arrow with a string attachment. That way, when we, we get that into him, we know we've got a, a good line on him and a buoy. I couldn't see nothing there. It's barely in his foot. Did you see the hook? I didn't see the hook. It's, I like, just saw it's just foot. like this in his foot. I mean, it's just, <laughs> I'm telling you, it is barely in his foot. Well, lo and behold, I got a hook in him, and we, we pulled him to the surface enough to where we could see a front leg and a foot, and Don's eyes got big. He looks at me, he says, hey, that's a big alligator. Everything up to that point was pretty calm and well organized. There's his back. There's his head to the left. 
Where do you want it? Oh, right in there. But once that gator got to the surface and I got that fish arrow into him, all hell broke loose. Right in neck. Okay, hey, Darcy, give me my quiver. It's all your bones. Well, oh, you left it on. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that quiver? Uh, you want me to grab the quiver off your bone? No. Rolling, splashing, and biting at us, and demon baby. Well, wouldn't you know it? Ten minutes down the channel, we spotted a good gator. Don's eyes got big. He looks at me. He says, "Hey, that's a big alligator." But once that gator got to the surface, and I got that fish arrow into him, all hell broke loose. Right in there. It was exciting. The adrenaline was really pumping on the deck of that boat. He was rolling and splashing and biting at us, and it got pretty exciting there for a while. And, and finally, uh, we, we couldn't get him up, up to where he could get a, a good kill shot with his broadhead. Hoppy beached the boat up on the shoreline. I jumped out and held on to him while Hoppy moved the boat. He's coming fast. That gator still didn't want to come to shore. The two of us managed to get him in close enough and finished him off. Facing away from us. Look into the left. Oh, yeah. That's got him right. That's fine, didn't it? It's got a hit there. I got it. He ain't moving. I got him. He ain't moving. Now he's still going to try to fight. Yeah, yeah. Demon, baby. <laughs> I don't know what right there is your arrow. It went right in the spine. Oh, it stuck right, right in his spine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that Good hole. Job, right on. That was Good a job. Hook. Let's do another one. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> man, what a nice gator. Ended up like a 10 and a half footer. You know, he got the thrill of getting the fight with this thing. He was rolling and splashing and biting at us. And for an old boy from Alberta, Canada that doesn't get to see this all the time, it was really exciting for him. This has got to be the ultimate bow fishing experience. And it's definitely not going to be my last time. Man. Look at the slime growing on him. That's an easy 10, eh, Hoppy? Oh, he's 10 plus. 10 plus, right on. That's what we come looking for. This is the second time that I've been down to Hoppies on a hunt. We, um, my wife and I came down last year and, and had a very nice turkey hunt. This year I brought my boys down and my wife back. The three of us, my sons and myself, each managed to get hogs, gators, and turkeys. It's just a great atmosphere at Hoppies. It's a great place to bring family and friends. Wow. Was that incredible? First, that was crazy. First, to have a gator of that size in that small a pond. Yeah, the, I mean, you, the cowboys found it while they're moving the cattle, and that was a huge gator. And oh my gosh, that action, that rolling. Think about crazy. the cows and the cattle and the calves that come in there and drink. And huge I mean, gator. you're talking about a 12 foot gator sitting there to munch on you. And then. And then Don goes on the airboat and shoots another big gator, predator hunting. And what's and up with that best. hat, Don? Do you really want hair? Because if you do, you know, you could call some numbers. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> nice. should be nice. Hey, if you happen to see the lucky logo this A week. step, best stands and ground blinds. Log on to archerschoice.com. Click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to get some great stuff from Ameristep and some of our, our other sponsors. <laughs> Quiet, leave my hands alone. Okay, next week. Next next week we are yes. heading up for Ducks and Bucks. You That's betcha, right. by gosh, with with Double B, the branch, and I am telling you what. What? The deer just keep getting it's bigger. Amazing. Bigger so, and bigger and bigger. Until next week, we thank you for watching this week. Same we'll see you next week. Wow. Same time. Same channel. <laughs> right here on the, the Archer's Choice. Choice. Do you see? <laughs> Do you see? Do you guys understand? This is I got started rambling, I couldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> what else is new? <laughs>